हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जे एंड के एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट आई एम बैक विथ माई लेक्चर सीरीज टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट किंगडम मोनेरा किंगडम मोनेरा इंक्लूड्स द मोस्ट एंशंट डैट मीन्स वेरी ओल्ड द स्मॉलेस्ट एंड द सिंपलेस्ट ऑर्गेनिजम्स they are most abundant organisms means they have most high number of members these organisms are most primitive that means they are very old and they were first dwellers or you can say inhabitants of this earth i have already discussed in uh, my last lecture that was the kingdom classification system that all members of kingdom monera they are prokaryotes and they consist bacteria only so bacteria are the only members of kingdom monera they are omnipresent that means they are present everywhere they can live in extreme habitats such as hot springs you know the sulfur springs deserts snow and under the deep oceans now the journal characters of kingdom monera they occur as unicellular means only single bacteria is present or they form colonies colonies uh, may be it consist the two members 200 or 1000 members or they are form found in the form of filaments filament is like a ribbon that is made up of small pieces so when you break a piece of ribbon from rest of uh, filament so you can say it is a single bacteria already i have mentioned that they are prokaryotic organisms that means they don't have nuclear membrane nucleolus that is present inside the nucleus and they don't have chromatin and histone proteins remember it histone proteins and non histone proteins they are always associated with genetic material kindly remember it we don't use the word nucleus for prokaryotic organisms we always use a nucleoid okay nucleoid are incipient nucleus so nucleoid are incipient nucleus it is composed of naked dna rna and non histone proteins dna is circular means it forms a circle in the shape of a circle and it is double stranded R- clear double stranded means two strands of dna are present clear next character is about cell wall this is very important character in plant kingdom so always remember the composition of cell wall the cell wall of ba- bacteria is made up of peptidoglycan peptidoglycan it consists amino acids and sugar amino acids are the basic material for proteins so you can say the basic material of proteins plus sugar they combine and they form the cell wall of bacteria except there are always exceptions okay so the exception here is archaea bacteria and mycoplasma they don't have peptidoglycan as a cell wall membrane bound organelles like mitochondria or chloroplast they are absent ribosomes they are present but 70s type is present what is s 
as is a sedimentation unit you can say it swedberg's unit while in eukaryotes ats is present ats means it is big bigger than the 70s ribosome some of the bacteria they are autotrophic but vast are heterotrophs respiratory enzymes you know the enzymes which are meant for respirations they are always associated with plasma membrane reproduction it is asexual type okay on the basis of shape bacteria can be classified into four categories the first is spherical form or you can say it coccus the plural is cocci okay the second shape is rod shaped so the name is bacillus and plural for it is bacilli the third form is comma shaped vibrum and plural for it is vibro the fourth form is spiral form known as spirulina okay for more clarification in the shape you can refer to figure 2.2.1 bacteria of different shapes that is present in ncert book textbook of class 11th locomotion in bacteria is accomplished by a thin hair like appendage that is known as flagella the main protein in flagella is flagellin on the basis of flagella number of flagella present in bacteria it is characterized into four or five categories okay the first one is atricious when flagella is absent the second one is monotricious when single flagellum is present the third category is amphitricious when two flagella are present at different poles okay what if uh, take the example of a rod and if one flagella is present at one end and second flagella is present on the other end such such bacteria is known as amphitricus the fourth one is cephalotricus that means two flagella are present only at one end okay the other end is without any flagella okay cephalotricus the fourth one is lophotricus when a number of flagella are present only at the extreme ends again take the example of a rod bacilli and a bunch of flagella they are present at one end and also on the other end such example is known as lophotricus and the last fifth one is peritricus in which flagella are present all over the surface of bacterium bacteria they also contain pili or fimbria okay they are similar to flagella but always smaller in size they are also meant for locomotion and adhesion the special protein that is present in pili is known as pilin some pili they possess special function to transfer the genetic material in another organism such pili are known as sex pili so this lecture was about the journal characters in my upcoming lecture i will discuss about bacterial life 
forms thank you for listening <clears throat> in case you have missed any of my lecture you can visit my website that is amarpreetko.com a m a r p r e e t k o u r .com and you can download these lectures from there